Hey everybody, I'm Will, and this is Backyard Outdoors. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sharpening a knife. This is my old Boy Scout knife. It's a like about a 1956 Boy Scout knife, and as you can see by the blade, it's had a little bit of use. But she's gotten pretty dull on me. So I just wanted to go briefly over how to basically uh, give your knife a quick edge. I've got a, a Bay State oil stone here, which means you add a little oil to it. It's not a wet stone, it's an oil stone. And it's got two sides. It's got the hard side, which is really a coarse side, so you can, you know, start your knife out rough. And then it's got a, a fine side, and you put a little bit of oil on it. And after a while, it soaks the oil up pretty good. As you can see, it, everything's pretty oily here. And uh, I don't need to use the coarse side. The coarse side's from when you're starting to sharpen a knife, and you need to get it, you know, uh, roughed up a little bit. And then you switch it over, and you start to work it down frying. The biggest trick to sharpening a good knife is the angle. You get it at a nice, you know, roughly a four to five degree angle to the bevel. You start at the top of the stone, and a lot of people, and you just basically drag it down like that. And you try to keep track of the, the sides, you see, or counts, you know. Now a lot of people will try to, will tend to turn it like that, and that's okay, but it doesn't quite get as fine an edge on it on the bevel. And what you're looking for, let me wipe this off real quick, is the bevel. See that see that shiny part on the edge? That's your bevel. Alright. But anyway, you start it, you go down nice and easy. You just go right on down the tip. Just trying to keep your knife at a 45 degree angle. You count the number of times that you do it and then when you get to a point you flip it over and you do the same thing on the other side trying to keep it at about the same angle depending on how dull your knife is will depend on how long you have to do this and you just switch over and keep doing it Then you can always take a strop to it, which is like, you know, a piece of leather or something, and, and go like that to it on a strop, or you can use a steel. I've got a steel that I carry in my haversack, a, a pretty fine little sharpening steel that I help helps me keep it touched up on the trail. I also carry a small stone in my, a whetstone. Actually, it's a, it's a creek stone that a buddy of mine gave me from his homestead in Kentucky that I use quite a bit. And it helps me keep my edges touched up while I'm on trail. That's all there is to it. Like I said, a lot of people tend to want to, when they're dragging it, they tend to want to turn it like that. And that's all right, but it'll throw your bevel off a little bit. So you're best off if you're just keeping it come straight down like that, towards out towards the tip. And you can wipe it off. You can touch it with your thumb just a little bit, not too much, because if it gets real sharp like mine does, it'll it'll lay you open. A lot of people will lay it on their fingernail and see if it'll move, and if it doesn't move, it's pretty probably pretty much sharp enough for it to do it. Alright. A lot of people will say, oh look, now see I'll show you how sharp this is, and they'll take a piece of paper and they'll slice paper. Well, that's a good way to redoll your knife. If you start to run out a little oil, you know and you still got a little ways to go. I just use three in one oil. But you could use uh, you could use uh, olive oil or whatever. Any oil will really do. I just put a little dab on there. I spread that oil out a little bit, you know. And then you just start again. And me, I like to tend to have my stuff pretty pretty razor's edge. And you do this. You can sharpen your knife regardless of the size. All the same, pretty much the same way. And they've got all sorts of sharpening tools out there you want, you know. But I find it kind of half relaxing, especially when I'm sitting out on a trail and I'm sitting around a campfire. I drag out my whetstone and just sit there and touch up my knives. All right, that's about it. That's a handy dandy tip from Backyard Outdoors on sharpening your knife. And hey, I'm Will. 
And this is backyard outdoors.